Hey everyone, welcome to episode 24 of my BRF vlog and on this episode, I clean out my desk and quit my job. So a couple of weeks ago, I left my marketing position at Omix. It was a, a company that produced agricultural health products. Um, its main offices were located out in the industrial park here in Black River. And I really actually liked my job. I liked my coworkers, I liked my boss. Um, I liked what I did at Omix, but I just became 1% unhappy. And for me, that was enough for me to make a change. Plus, they probably would have fired me anyway for all the shenanigans I did to all my coworkers. <laughs> Nobody was safe at my old job. I actually thought about making a vlog this Halloween and just scaring kids right on this doorstep when they come to the house for candy, just scaring the life out of them. But I talked to my wife and I kind of decided against it. Um, parents might not be too happy with me. So for the past three weeks, I've been self-employed. I've been doing uh, videos for businesses, for their uh, social media and for their website, and doing some wedding videos as well. It's kept me really busy. It's been a ton of work, but that 1% unhappiness that I felt before is gone now. And I think I figured out why. It's because I now control 100%, I'm 100% in control of my destiny, and I'm pumped about it. So I've been working from home. It gives me a ton of flexibility, and it also allows me to see Abigail a little bit more, at least throughout the day. And which means either A, we're going to the hippo park. Do you love the hippo? Uh -huh. Yeah. Or B, we're outside on her toy cars. They see me rolling, they hate it, patrolling and trying to catch me riding dirty. And I'm excited too because I get to vlog more. I really want to start vlogging even more because it's something that I'm really passionate about that I love um, sharing with you guys with this community about man, how awesome this community is that, yeah, we have our problems like any community does, um, but I choose to see the glass as half full. And this past week, I did a ride along video with Deputy Conrad Broggy. And so that was a ton of fun. That's gonna come out next week. Here's a little preview. That was awesome. So I just wanted to share that with you. It's a life update. It's a new journey for me. It's a little bit risky of a journey, but I think at the end of the day, it was the right move. I'm officially an entrepreneur now. That doesn't mean that I'm a successful entrepreneur, and that is the last time you will ever hear me refer to myself as an entrepreneur because I have a lot of um, you know, friends, uh, 
peers, I should say, whether they're from college or high school or whatever, who continually call themselves entrepreneurs and continually, um, you know, all of a sudden they become an entrepreneur and they start their own business and they get up on their high horse and look down on everyone else who has a nine to five. I will never do that if I ever do that. If you ever catch me doing that in any of my videos or real life, please punch me square in the face. But before I go, what advice would you give me um, as I start this new business venture? Wish me luck. See you next week for an episode of Cops BRF Edition. Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do?